Hello, this is Doug Kay, and I'm here once again with another short video tutorial for the Arcanum. This one's about Photoshop and specifically a technique known as saturation masking. This is an image from one of our apprentices, James Harkness. He allowed me to use this to demonstrate this technique. When I first looked at this image, my reaction was that I thought the, the focal point of the image really is the iguana on the palm tree but that the saturation of these palm fronds was so great that my eye was being pulled away from the iguana towards the leaves, and I wasn't sure that's really what was the best thing for the image. Now, in nature, it may be that that iguana doesn't really want to attract our attention. It wants to remain as hidden as possible. But hey, we're making a picture here, and we want to do something perhaps that's not quite realistic, but a lot more interesting. What we want to do is we want to make a saturation adjustment to this image but we want to restrict that saturation image to only the portions of the image that are already very saturated. We, we could come in for, of course, and create a hue saturation layer, and we could reduce the saturation overall, but of course it reduces the saturation for the things we want to be less saturated, as well as the things we don't want. So that's not gonna work too well. Let's get rid of that one. Um, what we need is a mask. We need a layer mask that is white in the areas that are mostly saturated and dark in the areas that are less saturated. And that means that a saturation adjustment will be applied to the lighter parts of that mask, therefore be applied to the things that are most saturated. How are we going to do that? Well, it turns out Photoshop CC gives us a way to do that. This used to be a plug-in, but now it's built into the product. We duplicate the image. We come to Filter. Other, and this thing called HSB HSL, that's Hue Saturation Brightness and Hue Saturation Luminosity. We click on that, and we just leave the defaults the way they are. We're going to start with an RGB image and create what's called HSB. And this does something very strange. It's a bit of a gimmick, but let me show you how it works. If we come to our channels, normally we would look at our channels and we would see red, green, and blue. And of course, red would be the red channel, green would be the green channel, blue would be the blue channel. But in this case, it's showing this this very odd thing. The red channel is a black and white, black and white map of the hues of our image. The blue channel is the luminosity. That's pretty much just a black and white representation of the overall image. The green channel is the one we want. The green channel is a saturation map, if you will. This is a channel that has been fabricated to have uh, the more saturated parts of the images look image look white and the less saturated images look dark. This is exactly what we're looking for. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use option click on the green channel, which is really the saturation channel. We're then just going to get rid of that whole layer. We now have a selection. The selection is based on saturation. And we're going to create our hue saturation layer. And that will automatically throw in that mask. If you look at the mask on this channel, you can see that it is what we formerly knew was the, uh, the saturation channel. Uh, we don't have that channel anymore, but we have it here as a mask. Okay, turn off the mask. Now all we have to do Let's take a few steps here, actually, but we're going to bring down the saturation of the image. Now, notice if I take it all the way up, we're bumping up the contrast, uh, sorry, bumping up the saturation, primarily of the things that are already saturated. If we take it down, we're taking down the saturation of the things that are uh, saturated. And we go with this, that's one thing. Now, we're going to actually duplicate this layer. We're going to invert the mask, so we, in fact, select the things that are less saturated. And we're going to increase the saturation of the things that previously were not saturated, and that's going to include our iguana. All right. Now, the only problem with this, I think, uh, compared to the original, is that the blues are way over the top. The blues have been bumped up by this change and bumped down by the layer underneath it. So what we're going to do here is use our little color selector tool, go in with the eyedropper, click on that blue, and I'm going to bring the saturation of the blues down. I'm even going to bring the lightness of the blues down a bit, make the sky a little bit darker there. All right. Now let's go take a look at what we've done. Here is our original image. And here is with these two uh, saturation changes applied. I'm going to go back and forth. And I want you to look at how 
the brightness and the saturation jumps from the uh, yellowish palm fronds to the iguana. Here is before, and here is after. And here is before, and here is after. I actually think we could probably go in and take the saturation on this yellow stuff down even more. Let's try that. Get rid of that. There's before, after. Before and after. And I think you see that what's happening is that our eye is being drawn away from the leaves towards the iguana. Again, here's before and here's after. Okay, that's it. That's the technique called saturation masking. Um, I went a little fast, but you can certainly find more detailed tutorials about this on the internet. In general, the main thing to know is that you can go to the filter menu, you can come down to other, you can select HSP, HSL, and that will create a set of channels that you can use to mask out hue and saturation uh, as well as luminosity. Again, this is Doug K for the Arcanum. Thanks very much. Thank <laughs> you.